All right, guys, so what do we got going on here? So I wrote a little routine using the open source control software, again, all written with JavaScript, to pick a cup up with water, move it over to another cup, dump it, move the cup back, grab the newly filled cup, and then put the water in that cup in the original cup. So this robot is just repeating the same process over and over again. And so what we're demonstrating here is repeatability of the iGuess Rebel, as well as how the control software uh, works pretty well with the iGUS. So uh, what I did is I updated the software recently to have this concept of uh, recipes. Um, so basically now you can define these recipes where you create uh, actions. So an action might be, for example, uh, pick up cup, pour cup, move cup, drop off cup. And by defining those separate actions, you can then combine those actions um, into recipes. So for example, I have a pick up cup, a pour cup and a drop off cup. So what's happening right here is I combine those into a recipe between two cups and I'm just having that robot repeat that over and over and over again. Um, some reminders about this robot is this is a six axis Rebel iGUS robot. So it's made by a company called iGUS. This is their iteration one, if you will, um, version. Uh, this is the first iteration of the open source version. It's got 50 to one gear ratio inside all of these joints. They have a new version that's going to come out soon with 70 to 1 gear ratio and slightly updated joints. Um, they're going to actually send me that new robot once it's available. So basically, I'm going to do a swap. I'll give them this one back, and they'll give me the 70 to 1 uh, robot. Once I have that, I'll run all the same software that I have running here, uh, which again is JavaScript on a Raspberry Pi, JavaScript in the browser. And when I run that, I'll be able to compare and contrast the repeatability of this, of uh, the sound. You can hear this is a little bit squeaky. Uh, the jitter, they said that some of the jitters kind of gone away with the newer version. Um, so we'll test all of those things and we'll see how the other one performs. So yeah, again, this is an update on the project. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to link some stuff in the description, uh, links to the software as well as the uh, control software. So that's the software on the Raspberry Pi, which controls the robot via a CAN bus and the uh, React software that runs in the browser. Remember, this is all with my own inverse kinematics, all again written in JavaScript. And there's also a library on NPM for that if you want to play around with that as well. So yeah, uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. And I'll uh, definitely bring you guys the new updated Rebel once that's, uh, once that's in my hands. Thank you very much and have a good day.